Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about a problem you may never have, and that's only if you've ever had to use inserts, if your motorcycle has spat out its spark plug or you've done the treads in. But I've had the issue where I've done this, and you can see this in other videos. But in this video, I'm going to talk about how I managed to get the inserts to stay in because they keep coming out. So if you've watched the other videos, you'll know I successfully managed to tread the hole where the spark plug insert went in. But what happened was when I took the plug out, out came the insert. So the next time I put an insert in, I decided that I would use the high Loctite. That's a Loctite. There's two different versions, just in case you've never used Loctite. It's very important on an old bike. There's the standard one, and then there's the strong one. I use the strong one, which is usually needs temperature to remove it, but that didn't work. So here's the culprit. Here is the insert that has come out on the spark plug. And what I'm going to try this time is the high temperature JB weld and see if it does the trick. So here is the new insert. I'll be using a new one as I damage the treads with a vice grips trying to get the old insert off the spark plug. So now to remove the contents of the container of the JB high heat uh, weld and uh, let's see if we can get it out. Might need a few taps as this doesn't seem to want to surrender from the container it's in but it will come out. So once removed, you only need a very small amount of the JB Weld. How JB Weld works is it's two substances that react with each other. Um, and uh, I'll just put away the rest of it so to keep it safe because I'm only using such a small amount as that's all I need for the moment. So the next thing you do is just like Play-Doh or Putty, you need to mix it so that the inner and outer materials of the JB Weld are completely mixed up when you have the two materials completely mixed up with each other and combined then I will rub a very very small tin coating into the treads onto the spark plug insert. I then treaded the insert onto the spark plug as I didn't have the insert tool for this particular size of insert I was going to use the spark plug as how I was going to insert the insert into the engine. Okay, now you've got to fit the spark plug with the insert into the engine. Be careful to get the treads right, so just do this gently first so you are in the correct treading because with the JB Weld on the insert it can make it a little bit hard to get it started, but make sure you've got it going and then tighten down. To make this easier, don't put JB Weld on the first three to four treads of the insert. To finish tightening, I use one of my favorite tools, which is the torque wrench. I set this to 20 newton meters um, which is where i would set maybe a spark plug between 17 to 20 depending 17 to 19 depending on the particular machine i'm working on but in this case i set it to 20 and tightened the plug down the jb weld high temperature says to leave for eight hours to set i actually left it till the next day and then removed the plug and all was well so and it has stayed in there since so hopefully that's a help to you if you have the same problem with your inserts coming out by the jb high temperature one um, or high heat one it's called um, and it's the answer maybe the answer to your problem so thanks very much for watching bye now Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you.